Hello, I'm Mark from G-Code Tutor, and today with Practical Machinist, we're going to talk about object avoidance using G-Code with G98 and G99. Okay, so why would we need to avoid objects? So what we're gonna look at here, this is a quick sketch of a part I've put together and we got four holes in this part. So if we were to use a drilling cycle to drill these holes, we would need to wrap it out of the material after each hole to move on to the next one. So we could set our rapid distance to above this clamp here between holes two and three. So each time the drill retracts, it would retract above this clamp. So we can guarantee it would not collide into the clamp as we are drilling between these two holes. But if we've got many holes, this is gonna add a lot of time to our program because we're retracting a lot higher than we may generally need for most of the holes. So we can use G98 and G99 to wrap it up to a safe working distance above the clamp only when necessary when doing this drilling cycle. So the way this works is if we put a G98 in a line on our drilling cycle between holes. It would wrap it up to our Z depth, our rapid Z depth that we gave it before the drilling cycle. So we can put a Z depth here that is above any clamps or obstacles that may be in the way between these holes. Or by adding G99, we can tell it to go to the rapid distance we set within the drilling cycle line, the G81 line here in this case. So by adding G99, we can tell it to use the rapid distance that we set on that line. Now this is a rapid distance above our datum or the surface of our part in this case. So our one millimeter would wrap it up one millimeter above the part. Okay, let's look at this in some more detail how we work with this inside a program. So here's the same part, but from a side view so we can see what's going on with the depth of our drill. And this is a quick program I've put together to drill these holes using the G81 drilling cycle. So here I'm wrapping the cutter to the start position or the position of the first hole. We can do this on the G81 line also, but I'd like to wrap it in before that line to the correct position. And on this second line here, we're setting the Z rapid depth. So we're wrapping it down now to 15 millimeters above the surface of the material. So this is important as this is the position we call upon when we're using our G98 in a minute. So this line is our drilling cycle line. This is our G81. And when the machine reads this line, it will go ahead and drill our first hole. Now it's going to wrap it back up to a distance we set using an R value. So in this case, one millimeter above the part. And this happens because G99 is active. We have that on the same line. So because G99 is currently active, it will read this R value for its rapid height when it finishes drilling each hole. On the next line, we give the position in X for the next hole and it will carry on drilling and wrap it into one millimeter above the surface because G99 is still active from the line above. But then we come to the clamp we wish to avoid. So our next position for the third hole, which we need to skip above the clamp, is in X50 as well. So we're moving in incremental here and there's 50 millimeters between each hole and X. So at the end of this line, we would put G98 before our end of block command. So this tells the machine that we need to skip over this clamp. And it does that by going back to our previous rapid distance, our Z15 millimeters that we've initially wrapped down before the drilling cycle. So it forgets the R value and it goes up to the Z value we gave it beforehand. So from now onwards, the whole time that G98 is active, the tool will always retract right up to that previous Z value, the Z15, until we tell it otherwise which is what we're just about to do because our fourth and final hole is in line with our third position here. So we're moving up in Y away from the screen that we can't quite see on our drawing, but we haven't got any obstacles in place. So we just want to wrap it to one millimeter above the surface of the part once more. So on this position, as we move, we then state the G99 G code. And this tells the machine that it no longer needs to wrap it up to Z15 and now to read the R value once more on the drilling cycle line, the G81 line. And then our four holes have been drilled and we can finish the cycle with a G80 to cancel any active cycles. 
So that's one way we can use G98 and G99 to avoid obstacles when we're using drilling cycles with G-code. So this has been an introduction to a topic that's covered in much more depth on my course, the CNC Milling Machine Programming course, which is all based in G-code programming your CNC machine. And this can be found over on my website with many other courses at gcodetutor.com.